Hello, I'm Luis Hernando Aguilar, Information Management Officer. I, I will show you how to create a sensible map that will contain some links to, to different uh, links inside or outside humanitarianresponse.info that is our humanitarian uh, web portal available for all the uh, humanitarian community in Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, the situation is this, we have some maps uh, that our colleagues have been working on map this sensible map uh, and after clicking the here go to to the to the to the link with the document uh, of this specific country uh, we will need first the uh, list of links for sure we will need the map this is a previous prepared map uh, it's a png image that will have some uh, sensible areas and for sure we will need uh, this software that is named GIMP G -I -M -P. it's a free software, it's free to use and free to share the first thing is in, in GIMP I will open uh, so it's a, a PNG uh, that is coming from Quantum GIS or RGIS or any other software so the first thing is uh, to work properly in a uh, humanitarian response so the first thing will be to change the 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 image to uh, in this case we will be using seven seven hundred ninety five pixels uh, and scalate so remember one thousand eighty or seven hundred ninety five pixels wide it depends on the schematic that you will be using in humanitarian response in this case because we have this uh, menu at the left uh, we will need to to use this 795 the second thing is here in GIMP you will go to filter and in filter you can go to web and in web you can go to a uh, image map mm -hmm. when you click it will open it will be opening other window, this window here and pay attention to this, here you will be able to add squares or rectangles, circles or uh, poly polygonal uh, areas in this case I will want to create only rectangles I will click on the rectangle and pay attention to this the first one will be Anguilla so I select Anguilla and be asking me the URL uh, of the destination of this area so the first one is Anguilla I will copy the link that I already have and I will paste it here and also in the alternative text I will put Anguilla okay so here at right you will see that we have a new area uh, the second one is Antigua and Barbuda so is Antigua here I create the rectangle I copy and paste the URL of the destination and I will put Antigua uh, okay and this way you can create uh, let's say Cuba I will put the I will create the rectangle here I will go to Cuba here we have Cuba and Cuba uh, I will put it here the link and I will put the alternative text Cuba okay that way I will be able to uh, create all the sensible sounds I will save the file and the extension will be dot map it's only a, a text file is a okay it's a it's a text map I will I, I save that and you will you will open the file is this one is extension dot map so is this and you can copy the 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 code inside the HTML so pay attention to this 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 is important if this is HTML you you will be able to edit anywhere it, the image will uh, refer to the updated image in the humanitarian response web platform 
Then you will copy and paste the code. Pay attention that the code have this tag name, uh, the name is map, and it have an attribute that is the name of the map. So I changed this uh, here. I use Mapa Caribe, like the name of this uh, tag that start here, and we'll finish over here, you know? So uh, with this, you will add, pay attention to this. You can use the tag IMG in HTML, and you can use this uh, name of the map that the image will be using. It means uh, the, this image, this uh, specifically, this image will be using Mapa Caribe, the the one that I just show uh, to you. With this information, you can save this document, and you can send to our friends in Humanitarian Response uh, to the email info at humanitarianresponse.info. They will do their magic. They will embed uh, that information. They will load that information. And the, this is uh, the functionality that you will have for your users to be able to uh, download or click on the maps that you need. I'm doing this video because uh, in the coming months, uh, several other maps will be produced. And um, I, I hope that you like this video. Excuse my um, uh, mistakes and uh, everything, but it's, uh, it's something that uh, I just wanted to produce for you guys. Thank you very much and have a good, a good day.